Elon Musk has pulled off a very, very major important trip to Israel and made two statements you really need to hear about. Blair Lopez, Elon Musk has taken a lot of heat on X for allowing free speech uh, to run rampant, some of it into, uh, well, the gray areas of free speech that gets really ugly, especially in regards to anti-Semitism. So you can imagine how happy Israeli um, leaders were when Musk said, I'll come to Israel and see your side of the story, which he did. Uh, he got a tour of the Knesset. He met with the president. He met with the prime minister. Um, he got a tour of what is going on in regards to the military campaign against the Hamas brutal terrorists. And two things came out of it that I found very interesting. He was given a symbolic dog tag by the father of an Israeli captive. And he said, I'm going to wear this till all the hostages come home, which was a big statement. And then he made another statement saying that all of Hamas must be eliminated in order for there to be peace. Is this going to change anything on X? Is it going to change his reputation? What do you think the uh, the byproduct of this trip are going to be in regards to Elon Musk? You know, I don't know if it'll actually change anything on the platform. I think it was an important visit, an important trip for Elon Musk to make. And in addition to the things that you just noted there, Barry, I would add that he had previously offered to make Starlink, you know, the uh, the satellite uh, communications connection system available in Gaza. And what got straightened out during this visit with the Israeli leadership was that he, Elon Musk, has now agreed that he will provide the Starlink service, but only uh, in uh, collaboration, cooperation with the uh, Israeli government, in particular, the Ministry of Communication, so that it is not Hamas or other terror jihadis uh, that, that would benefit from it in Gaza, but only you know international um, relief organizations, Red Cross, which, okay, uh, you know, with Israeli uh, agreement uh, on how it would be deployed. So I thought that was important. Yeah. And, and, and I think for someone of his international stature, I mean, he's known all over the world. They say he's, if not the most famous, one of the top two or three industrialists, investors, corporate heads in, in the world presently. So for him to make two big statements, like I'm going to wear around my neck, these dog tags until all the hostages come home. And I, personally feel having been here and seen the cartage they took him to the kibbutzim on the border and they toured him through the horrific sites of the massacres he walked away very shaken as everyone has that's seen it and has made the statement hamas must be destroyed he's got an enormous reach and yes. i think it's a big statement I, I think that was a very important statement for him to make. And and, and again, another important outcome uh, of him taking the initiative to make this trip and then to make those statements about, you know, wearing the dog tags until the hostages are, are home. Good on you, Elon Musk. <laughs> <laughs>